They're telling our followers that we started a live video. Hi everybody. Sorry, we are um, just watching to see people are joining. Uh, hopefully you can hear us and it's all good. I'll wait just a few more minutes to get um, some more people on. Lovely to see your faces popping up. <laughs> right, we've got about one more minute till we're technically live. So we'll get everybody on board. I was saying earlier, you may hear some road noise. I hope not, but I'm guessing maybe some of you are watching while you're making dinner or cleaning up. So maybe there's more noise where you are than there is here. So hopefully, hopefully it won't be too distracting. Let's see. All right. Well, I'm Jennifer Mo. I am the founder of Pure Collagen, and we are doing a fit and well takeover today. So. It's Sounds hostile, but no, we're very happy to be here taking over um, and sharing our knowledge with you about collagen and why I started the business and why I love it and feel it's so important to so many people. So I'll give you a little background on Pura. Um, I have been in the nutrition and wellness industry pretty much my whole career. Um, it's going on kind of 25 years now, I think, in this business. And during that time, I've always focused on helping people, everyday people with their wellness, but also professional athletes, uh, Navy SEALs, um, celebrities. So just about everyone you can think of has uh, come across me and had to listen to my chat about looking after themselves. And uh, during that time, I've gained a tremendous amount of knowledge, um, both in the laboratory, but also seeing the real life, you know, effects of what people are doing when they're looking after themselves. And that majority of that, I would say, whether it's your physique that you want to improve or uh, your mobility or your general wellness, it's 92% about what we ingest. And, you know, the exercise and all the other things we do are just moving that needle on a little bit more, but so important to look after really what goes into our body to look after ourselves. So uh, over the years, I've worked for a number of companies uh, that took me all over the world, which again was such a delight because I got to see so many different people and what their needs were and really learn from that. Um, and then recently uh, was working with a brand in the US called Quest Nutrition, which had a phenomenal success uh, with their protein bar. And um, that was a great time. And I was going back and forth to LA, which was lovely because I live in the UK. Um, and every time I would go, I would stock up on all the nutritional products and supplements that I loved because trends um, around the science around nutrition tend to start in the States and gain popularity there. And one of the lovely things about that popularity is companies in the US really have to rise to the competition that enters the market. So the quality then goes up with, with you know, that knowledge of those products that are helping you for various reasons. So every time I would go over, I would be incredibly jet lagged, um, usually 11 and a half hour flight and walking straight into an office, seeing all these lovely, gorgeous Californians sitting there. And one of the days I went in desperate for a coffee and asked one of the colleagues in the office, sorry, do you have any milk or anything I can put in my coffee? And they kind of looked at me with this stare and said, well, we don't put milk in our coffee, we use collagen. And I was I was like, okay, you know, I'm down for the new thing. So um, I put some collagen in my coffee and then a little bit later was talking to the science team about why we were putting that in our coffee. And at Quest, we were a whey protein isolate based company. So we didn't use collagen in our products, um, but pretty much everybody in the office was supplementing with it. So I started to gain some knowledge on that and looked into it for myself and started reading just 
amazing um, scientific data about all the wonderful things that collagen could do. And I liked the pure powder form of it, that you could add it to many, many things. And so it was really easy and portable for me to take back and forth to the UK when I traveled, and which I continued to do. Um, and then I really started seeing the benefits for myself. So I am approaching 50. And of course, um, I think having to go back and forth to LA and work in such a wonderful environment, I wanted to stay looking as well as I could and keeping some of my youthful appearance. Um, so, you know, driven by vanity was probably the first real thing that that um, took hold for me. But also, as more science and more research came out, I was realizing that actually all the wear and tear I had done on my body as an athlete and continue to do as I pursued fitness in my 20s, 30s, 40s, and as I approached 50, my body was just not giving me the same level of um, action that I used to have. I used to be able to run and lift and go to a HIIT workout and do the next thing the next day. And I realized that slowly my knees were giving out on me. I was maybe if I went for a long run, I was limping the next day or having to take it easy going downstairs. And, and I knew that, you know, unfortunately, just with age um, and the wear and tear that I was kind of naturally doing to myself, my body was breaking down. And the science behind the collagen that I was looking into and the research that I was looking into um, was was showing me something very different. And I am a massive, massive nerd. I'm just going to put it out there. So reading those scientific uh, journals and looking into those studies and looking deeper into those studies, not just having a look at what it said on the first page, but who did they work with? How how you know diverse was the group that they were studying? What were the ages? What was the duration and the dosage that these people were using to get all these great results? And so, really, that's kind of the where the uh, it's where Pura was born. Um, but really, where Pura took hold was in lockdown. So. As we all know, we've had a great, you know, 18 to two years, uh, 18 months to two years of not being able to move, not being able to travel. So I then wasn't going to L.A., wasn't restocking on my normal um, big bag, roller bag of, of nutritional products. And I started to look at what was available in the U.K. because I wanted to obviously carry on with that journey that I was on. And I kind of looked left and right. And didn't see anything that looked like the type of products I wanted to take. And what do I mean by that? So there were definitely collagen products here on the market. Um, the majority of the products that I found were in a liquid format. And you might ask, well, what's what's so bad about that? There's uh, nothing bad about it, but collagen, when it is produced, is produced into a powdered format. And I personally feel like every step that you move away from that, you move away from the more natural raw material that was was what was studied, was what was producing these great results. And so when I didn't see anything that I would like to take, the, the liquids have to be stabilized. They would have to have sugars or flavorings or sweeteners added to them. Um, there were gummy formats, which, you know, if you were trying to avoid sugar, watch out because those even had kind of double, triple the amount of sugar that you would want to have in a, in a serving. And the powdered formats were also largely flavored or didn't have what I would consider the right dosage. So it very quickly dawned upon me that if I wanted to take what I considered the best product that I needed to make it myself. So um, those hazy days of lockdown one were spent really digging into the raw materials that I wanted to work with, the ability to get them you know, over to the UK, the manufacturing processes that we wanted to work with. And really that's where Pura was born. So that's what I can say about Pura Collagen in the beginning and in its concept. But what I want to tell you a bit about is collagen in general, because I think when I talk about collagen or someone says, oh, you own a collagen company, I think the very first thing they do is stare at like, 
my cheeks and my lips and think, oh, you get collagen injected into your face. No, I, I don't. Um, not that yeah, you know, if you want to, great. But um, no, collagen is a food supplement. So I have to kind of always start there with um, with people and and make sure they understand that this is something that you take. This is something you add to your daily diet, and you know, explain why is it important. So let me break that down for you. Collagen is a natural component of your body. We all have collagen cells within our body and in our 20s, we are at kind of our optimal time of production. And if you cast your mind back to your 20s, for me, it's a cast it way back. Um, that's when we have youthful skin. We can recover so quickly from these hardcore workouts. We don't, you know, kind of creak. We don't have any wrinkles or things of that nature. And that collagen production then slowly starts to decline. So after your mid twenties, we lose about a percent of collagen production a year. So by the time we're 40, we've lost a third. And by the time we're 50, we've lost almost half. And if you think about what comes along with aging, it is those, those kind of exterior signs of your nails start to get brittle and maybe don't grow as well. Your hair isn't as lustrous and isn't as healthy. We start to get wrinkles and creases in our skin. Um, our joints tend to give way and we injure more readily or we just have general pain. Our fascia, which is so important to our muscle tissue and our recovery starts to um, give way as well. So the body just by the nature of aging uh, goes through this process. And so much of kind of what we would consider the negative results of aging are due to that collagen degradation in our body. So collagen is a protein molecule. It is the most abundant protein in the body. Um, about a third of our body protein is collagen, but in various aspects of the body, it is in um, higher quantities. So skin, for instance, is if we took the dry weight of our total skin, that is around 80% collagen. So when you, we think about aging and we think that collagen makes up 80% of, of our dermis layer, then it makes sense to why we start to see wrinkles, why we start to you know have less luminous skin and, and plumpness and so on and so forth. So it's so vitally important. And when we talk about collagen supplementation, we're not saying the collagen that you ingest is then the vehicle or is then the thing that gets distributed around the body and, and does this good. It actually stimulates, when you ingest a collagen peptide, you're stimulating your body's own ability to produce collagen. So it is a very natural process. It is a natural component. When you take a collagen supplement, many people ask me about absorption. That's kind of, you know, I think if you look at the marketing that a lot of companies do, they, they'll bang on about how well you, their collagen is absorbed because they're a liquid or, Ours is more absorbable because it's in a capsule. And the reality is if you're working with collagen peptides, and when I say that, I mean collagen in its natural form is an amino acid complex, but it needs to be broken down into smaller smaller molecules, which we call hydroly hydrolyzation. Those small collagen peptides are then what make it through the gut barrier and into the body. The good news is you want that strength of that collagen peptide to stay intact so that it can then go stimulate your collagen producing cells, which are called fibroblasts. But also all of the collagen gets utilized. So 100% of that collagen gets utilized, whether it's the collagen peptides, which have a really strong bond that make it to those fibroblasts, or the other collagen that doesn't make it through to, to that level, but it gives the, the amino acids over to the body to be used in a number of different ways. So we at Pura, we really looked at two different main, what I would call pillars of what people want from health. So for me, it was very focused on me um, as the founder. I wanted to 
kind of have my appearance look as great as it could. And then I really wanted to address joint issues that were happening in my body to do to wear and tear. So if I look at collagen and its effects on skin, if we start there, we've already talked about how collagen is the most abundant protein in your dermis. So you've got about 80% of your dermis is collagen. And what happens when you take uh, what we use? We use a patent bioactive collagen peptide in our product, which is called Glow Plus. And this is a unflavored powder with supporting ingredients, only supporting ingredients that actually physically do something to boost that collagen metabolism. Um, what happens is you ingest that powder. I happen to have it in coffee. It's the it's how I start every day. So downstairs, coffee on, scoop of glow into my coffee. Now that collagen is going to then make it through into my system. The molecules, the peptides are then going to get through that gut barrier and uptake to your dermis layer. So if you think about your skin, you have your, your it's in many, many layers and collagen, the dermis layer sits just below and in between the subcutaneous layer, which is, which is your kind of fats. Um, and it starts to stimulate these very specific fibroblasts. So fibroblasts are the energy producing cell that makes, that stimulates that collagen production. If you are using very high grade collagen peptides, they go specifically to that site and they activate that site. And that's really what you want. When you see um, you know, I can't even think, probably hundreds of collagen uh, brands on Amazon, let's say, they are very general collagen peptides. Your body wants to use them, your body needs amino acids, they're essential for you to live, but they aren't necessarily going to be utilized where you are taking that product to work. And one of the things that I kind of chuckle at is when I read the marketing behind a lot of collagen cup of companies, they'll say that collagen's the best thing since sliced bread. It can do everything. It can, you know, make you leap, jump, you know, sing. But actually, when you pick up that product and you look at the label, if they aren't saying legally um, backed claims on their product, they, they're not using a peptide that actually can do any of those things. So you can say the most amazing things in your marketing, and then you get the product and you order it online, it comes to you and it's a blank box. That means they actually can't back up a lot of those claims, um, which is terrible. But if you're using a specific peptide, that peptide is getting to the point where it can do the work that you want it to do. So with Glow, we use a peptide called Verisol and Verisol has been clinically proven to give you healthier hair, to help the health, the health of your nails, whether it's ridging or breaking, but it's going to make them healthier, grow, etc., cetera, um, and also reduce the kind of dermis layer wrinkles uh, on your skin. And we have used studies, we've gone through the science on this, so we can actually claim that these things happen within four to six weeks, and there are a multitude of studies. And I would say to you, you know, yes, I think my product is the best product, but any product you use, any collagen product you come across, get on their website, look for the scientific data. It should be, you know, there's a rule in this country that things should be two clicks away. So if you're making claims, you really have to back that up with the science. So do do that, you know, empower yourself to be uh, in charge of those great decisions that you make about yourself. And collagen is no different than buying a bicycle or a car. You would research that, so please do that. So with Verisol, um, you're getting all of that benefit. And then a side benefit, which I was talking to a colleague about this earlier, is that this is the only difference. So Glow is a universal unisex product. Um, men want to look as great as you know as as ladies do unfortunately we fall into a market where we get targeted a lot you know we get scaremongered into aging and scaremongered into having to look a certain way um and that's not really what glow is about glow is about making you feel great regardless of of what your um main purpose for that is so 
the one downside for us, um, I would say, as, as women is we're kind of up against it on two levels. Our, as we age, our hormones start to go into an array and then our estrogen starts to decline. And that can also drive a almost quicker um, decline in your collagen production. So we're kind of, you know, we're aging quicker just by the nature of our estrogen levels as well as the structure of the dermis that gets stimulated by collagen. Women's dermis layers, if you think of our, our collagen structure within the dermis, it's like scaffolding. Our structure as females is almost in a pillar and men's structure is in a crisscrossing motion. So when you think of things like lovely cellulite, which we all have regardless of, you know, if we're, you know, whatever size, we all have cellulite women will get a dimpling effect from cell cellulite and that is because as those collagen levels decline it can create a dimple because we have a column structure and men can be many different sizes but often don't get the same uh, visual appearance of, of cellulite because the structure of their dermis and where their collagen sits in that dermis is different. It's like this. So they don't necessarily have that same result. And if also kind of reducing the appearance of cellulite is a goal for you, that is great news again, because glow and the, the peptides that we use have been studied to have a drastic reduction in the appearance of cellulite. And again, that's because it's getting to that dermis layer and it is strengthening and producing more collagen there, which is going to push everything out and smooth everything over. So that's really how collagen is going to affect your skin layers. But what's also been equally important for me has been how it affects my joints. So I think when you look at a lot of joint products and I have taken everything. I am a, a human laboratory. <laughs> I take it, I try it all on myself. And in the, I would say 90s and, and 2000s, I was on glucosamine and chondroitin, uh, MSM, anything that could take the pain away from my knee, because I have always had an international job and traveled all over the world. And sometimes the easiest thing to do is pack your running shoes you don't have to find a gym. You don't have to worry about if you've woken up at 4.30 in the morning, you can just get out your door and get some exercise. So it was always the, my go-to. You know, I would go running because that's what I could do if I was in Amsterdam or Hong Kong or LA. Um, but I was paying a huge price for it. So I would run and then I would spend the next day, maybe 48 hours hobbling because my knees literally couldn't take that physical wear and tear that I was putting on them. Um, I had years of sport injury that as a youth, as you know, my teens and 20s, I just kept going. Um, but they really caught up with me in my 30s and 40s. And so I was preoperative on my knee. I was awaiting knee surgery and I was told, do not run. You Running is not the, the exercise for you. So I went back to the gym and was training with weights. And I really missed running, um, which is weird to say, because I would equally tell you I hate running. <laughs> but in this occasion, just having that versatility of being able to get up and do that exercise when I wanted and, and when I could was really key to my overall well being. And knowing that my body couldn't do it, and that I couldn't keep going was really hard for me. So when I was doing the research on the collagen peptides, I was obviously, you know, mainly most intrigued about maybe the dermis layer and the benefit of, of what it would be like to, you know, start slowing that process and really regaining some of my youthful appearance. What I was finding as I was working with the various collagen peptides was that I was not creaky and I wasn't running, but I would even struggle sometimes on my stairs. I had very narrow stairs. We went into lockdown. My children would go out for our one hour of, you know, of exercise and they would want to cycle, which is great. But I would then be on foot behind them trying to make sure they didn't cycle into the road and cycle into a roundabout. And so each time I had to get a little pace, do a little jog. And 
every day I would realize that I wasn't sore the next day or I could sprint to get up, catch up to them. And it kind of was a very slow burn in my brain where I realized that something was different about my body. And with the joint product, I was really focused on a couple of areas. And I think this is really key. There's a couple of key things to know about collagen because if you look at the data that's out there, you'll see there are um, about 30 types of collagen, but 90% of what is on the market, what you're able to purchase is down to type one and type three. And the types of collagen are, are interesting and as well as the source of those collagens. So I'll start off right, right off. Um, if you've ever seen a vegan or a vegetarian collagen, something that's marketed in that way, you should just put it down and walk away because there actually aren't any sources of collagen that aren't from an animal. And it comes, you know, collagen is taken from that animal and gone through an enzymatic process to be hydrolyzed. And then that powder is then what we supplement with. There are supporting ingredients that can help stimulate your own collagen production. Things like vitamin C are amazing for doing that, um, for instance. But there is no vegan or vegetarian source of collagen. As well as when you look at joint products, most of the products you see, as I said, are types one and three. But, and that's great, you know, they do help with ligament tissue, tendon tissue, fascia tissue. But specifically, if you have cartilage damage and you are looking, when you look at the joint, you really need to approach it in many different ways. So when you have a joint injury, it's never one thing. It's never just your tendon. It's never just your ligament. It is, you have to look at that as a whole engine. And the only type of, of collagen that can affect cartilage, which was really key for my injury, is type two collagen. Type two collagen can only be sourced from uh, a bovine porcine um, source. So if you see a marine product, a marine collagen product that is marketing itself for joints, just know that it's not going to affect cartilage tissue. So if cartilage tissue is where your damage is, you really need to make sure you have a product that has type two collagen in it because those are, uh, that is the type that has been studied to work on collagen. And then even more, as you drill down, you need to be working with bioactive collagen peptides that have been studied to stimulate collagen cells. The type that we use have actually, we have um, many studies that it starts to synthesize new collagen, or sorry, new cartilage cells, which is amazing. If you have um, cartilage, cartilage issues, you've got usually a breakdown, maybe you don't you've got degenerative cartilage. So getting a product into your body that can help stimulate new cell growth is key to your overall joint health. So with our um, product, which we call Flex, again, it's 10,000 milligrams of collagen. I should have mentioned that with Glow. Uh, 10,000 milligrams is the amount that we've studied with our peptides that is the most potent that is going to do, you know, kind of give you the quickest result. Lots of people ask me about collagen do doses and why, why do we use 10 and somebody else uses eight or 12 or six. And I can't speak to that because I only know what we work with and that's what we focused on and we, the science that we based our product on. And so 10,000 milligram dose is what we give you in both Glow and with Flex. Um, with the Glow product, we use a peptide called Verisol. With the Flex product, we use two different peptides, one that's called Fortigel, which is that type one collagen I was talking about earlier, and the other peptide, which is called Tendafort, and that is a tendon-specific um, collagen. And Fortigel, sorry, I should back that up. I've got that the wrong way around. Tendafort is the type one. Uh, Fortigel is a type two. So we're giving you that dual action of being able to address tendon, address ligament, and address cartilage all in one product, as well as some other key supporting ingredients, again, that are there to make sure that those fibroblasts, which are creating new collagen cells, are firing and, and optimized at the perfect level. 
And so key ingredients are really important in a collagen product, but it again, it's a place where I would caution you. If you're looking at a collagen product, please do yourself a favor and turn that product around and look at the ingredient panel. Because if you see 30 things in there, then maybe it's not something you want to ingest. I, I say this all the time. This is kind of a throwback to my old protein bar days. If you look at the ingredients on a package and there are lots of them, the print is so tiny that you can't read what's in it and or you can't pronounce a number of those things, please don't put it in your body <laughs> and think that it's something nutritious for you to have. Equally, when we developed these products, I I go on the less is more um, path. I know that the the hero of that product is the collagen. So having the right amount, having it in a dose and a format that's easy. Sorry about that, technical problem. Um, I think we're back, but yes, yeah, so, Again, format and making sure you take it every day. The real key with collagen is consistency. So you need to be taking the dose that we recommend every single day because that was what was done in the study. So anytime you're taking a product and you're especially a scientifically backed product, follow what they did in the study. We tell you that with Glow, it takes four to six weeks because that was what the study and the results were were showing us with flex you really t it could take about six to 12 weeks depending on a number of things we have a lot of customers come to us and say i felt better in two weeks um i often kind of make a joke of that i think the more injured you are <laughs> the more damage you have and this is on many levels um the the quicker you will see the results of of a certain product and that's exactly what we see with flex um but taking it every day, taking the right dose every day. And as I said before, we had our kind of technical glitch, making sure that the, the, the ingredients in that product should be doing something to support that collagen. If they are in there for any other reason, you don't need it. And then really for me, if you don't need it, you don't want it. So I've given you lots of information. We do have a lot of questions as well. So um, if anybody wants to pop one in, please do. I'll try to read and address it. Um, but also, I think we're kind of at the end of our time. We are going to have this on the IG Live. So it will be on Fit and Well's IG Live or IGTV. So you can go back and look at it. But equally, I think because we're out of time, um, pop us questions on on there. Pop, it, pop us questions at Pura Collagen. Um, we're on Instagram Facebook, and of course, please visit our website. And if you want to read any of the scientific studies, we have them all listed there for you. Uh, thanks for listening to me ramble. I hope you've had a good evening. And um, yeah, we hope that you start your collagen journey soon. And we don't know how to turn it off. No, that's good, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> thanks, everyone. <laughs> we'll just keep going. I could talk for it. I could talk all night. <laughs>